guys, and today I will be making a tutorial for my custom semi-automatic brewing system. Um, here's a quick summary of it. First, you click the the base potion you want to make. So, in the video that I showed, which will probably be up there or there or there, um, and I made an invisibility, so I wanted to make an invisibility. So you put a golden carrot on it, but a golden carrot makes a night vision. So you add, then you put fermented spider eye, and you wait a little, and you put redstone, and it makes an invisibility eight minute. <clears throat> so um, I made it in my LP world. Um, I mean not LP, but server. Let me see if I'm just yeah okay. I'm close to it right here um <clears throat> I actually made it better I put which ingredient that was um and also I totally forgot in uh the in creative to put gunpowder so that's kind of um a bit embarrassing but let's oh, sorry. let's go back All right, so let's build this. So what you want to start with is just put eight blocks down like that. All right, and just do this. A lot of it actually has like a lot of prettiness because like nether brick and uh and cobbled stone brick goes well, really good together. <clears throat> All right, now that we got that, now just do four, and then a fifth one, and do that. Um, I built this already two times, so I already know how to do this. <clears throat> so now there should be four buttons here. This is the territory ingredients, which is what can change the that like makes an effect to each potion all right now we're gonna put uh the droppers above every nether brick but we'll need uh we need 14 in the build all right so now you can use any um item um uh, but glass for a creative is good because you can see through it. Um, so you just want to build that to the edge. And yeah. Alright. Now, we'll add the water later. Um, if you have ice, I'd recommend using ice. So you put ice down here, and you put a sign here, and you put water here. But if you don't have ice, I'll show you what to do later. Alright, so now, you get a brewing stand. Hold on, I forgot to get it. Um, get a brewing stand, and uh, put a hopper on top of it. Shift click and put a hopper on it. And then you just make, make it go here. Alright. Um, now if you want to make it look, oh yeah, and now you want to go here and place a dropper so you can't see the hole. Well, you can kind of, but it's facing upwards. Alright, now you want to put that here and this. This is for the water bottles. Um, if you want to cover this up, sure, but we still have to put... If you want to, extra storage, um, put a hopper here and then a chest there. Or let's just make it face this, this way. Alright. So I'll cover this up to make it look pretty. There are many ways to make this look pretty. Um, so you can't see the back. Alright, so now you, I think you do this. Um, and you add, you put that 
here, and this will be the nether wart. And then you put a dropper on top, not facing that way, but facing this way. And you want to just enclose it if you want. You can put it at the top, um, like here, so it doesn't really do it. But let's just make it compact like that. Um, now that is pretty much it. Um, but we just need to add the water. So I forgot about adding the water again. Um, I mean, I forgot something again. Uh, so you can put this here and this here, and that is actually a block so it doesn't flow over. But if you don't have ice, there is a way, but it uses more hoppers, which is a bit bad. Um, so let's just destroy that, and you just put that there what is that in the right way yeah um you put that there and then for these final ones you have to put extra hoppers which is like about 20 more iron but if you have a lot of iron then that's totally fine but if you do that i would recommend putting a ceiling on it because the item might bounce off um while here it will just like carry on sort of but that is um, about it for this um if you this is not really needed but if you want to you can add home um, um signs saying stuff so like water bottle um in here nether wart oh nether wart oh whatever Okay, and then you just um, put each ingredient, uh, like what potion you can make from that, and the ingredient, and and the dropper you put uh, what you're making. Um, so that is about it. Uh, thanks so much for watching.